Hey everybody, it's Miss Paige again, back with another STEAM challenge. So this one is inspired by some recent events. Um, not sure if you've been following, but um, recently three astronauts returned from the International Space Station, including a NASA astronaut who is actually a Lawrence County native, Andrew Morgan. Um, so with that theme, we um, are doing the take home project, which is balloon rockets. Um, but for this one, I want you guys to experiment with making your own balloon rocket. Um, that's not just from a um, guided lesson. Um, so make modifications of your own. Um, the take home lesson has pretty simple supplies, a uh, straw, a balloon, um, tape of some sort, and then um, some paper to make uh, some wings onto your rocket. Um, simple enough, it sometimes gets tricky because the balloon has to be taped on really, really well for it to work. Um, the other sort of uh, issue with it is that it's not very predictable. It's hard to um, judge whether or not you've made a good design choice or if you've made the perfect shape for um, the wings on it or things like that. If the balloon was blown up far enough for it to get a certain distance because you can't really track where it goes. Um, so for this one, I would recommend sort of a tried and true method of putting up some string. So from one end of the room to another or one wall to another, however you can do it. Um, and then rather than having the balloon with your straw together so that you don't blow into the straw, but just blowing directly into the balloon, um, come up with some sort of design. So you can still use your straw um, and have the string go through it as the way to keep it in place. If you don't have a straw, if you have a cardboard tube of some sort, you could do the same thing by putting it through there. Um, but come up with different designs um, to see which ones will help your balloon go further. Now, propulsion is going to be the main thing that drives your balloon, right? Um, so this is going to be based on Newton's third law. So Newton's third law is for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? So your balloon, let's see here. Right now, the balloon is in equilibrium. The air inside of it um, is pushing out on all sides equally, but there's no escape of it. It's not going somewhere else. So when I let go of this side, so if that's the action, the reaction is going to be that the balloon will go forward. Um, so the same principle applies for your balloon rocket. Now, if you are working with siblings or somebody else in your family, you could always race them. So if you set up two um, tracks, basically, with your string of the same distance, you could see whose design works better, right? Um, but as far as testing the design, Something has to, something else besides having it along the same path has to be consistent. And that is how blown up your balloon is. So if one person blows their balloon up this far and the other one has it this big, which one's going to win? This one. So you have to make sure that they are the same or as close to the same um, as you can. Um, the other thing to do is to test them multiple times, right? So you may have a fluke that it works, one works better than the other one time. But what happens if you try it five times? You should be able to figure out which one works best consistently. Um, so submit your designs, um, maybe videos, even of your balloon rocket lifting off um, and share them with us here on Facebook at the bottom of this post. Um, we'd love to see what you guys are working on 
and really enjoy sharing these activities with you um, remotely. So can't wait to see you for another video soon. Have a good day.